Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, and I got a piece of paper in the way. But anyway, <clears throat> it is 5.23 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's uh, about 70 degrees outside, very comfortable, dry, dry, dry. And I decided to make a fashion statement, so here it is, my Dildon shirt. This one's not brown, and it won't be long, I'll get some new ones. Having said that, it is 5.23, this is Saturday... March the 25th and I talk too slow and I say anyway 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 too much and other things and I mispronounce words and sometimes I get the date wrong and all that stuff so and I also left the music on again cut it off <clears throat> I just got out of the shower and put on my I put uh, mineral oil on my skin I know it looks oily as hell but it works for me. I don't have to put anything else on and it keeps me from having too much dry skin problems and when you get older, that's one of them. You don't drink plenty of water. Anyway, here's the point of this video. A point in every direction is a perfect circle. So, today I went car dating and you got to know that that's probably the second most or first most traumatic experience you can go through in life. Okay? Because I don't know why they have it. Well, the local dealers, I live in a small rural community area. And they're still doing it the old, good old boy way. Okay? And that's not bad. It, it's not bad at all. It's just that sometimes they don't have all the information that they should have. <clears throat> and if you point it out, they're not going to be happy about it. Well, anyway, I'm one of those guys that when I go in on a car deal, since I have some experience with car dealerships years ago, I, I know my numbers because that's where you lose the car deal is if you go in and you don't know your numbers. In other words, what you want for your trade, what the value of their product is, how much you're willing to pay for it, etc. Et know exactly what you want. It's enough said about that. But what I found out is... <clears throat> In the small dealerships, small town dealerships, and I'm not going to say all, I'm, that's, that would be a generalization, but at least where I am, I found this. Not only do they not call you back with information that you've requested, that's one. Number two, they, they're not up to date with all of the, quote, incentives that are available maybe on the product that you're interested in, for example. <clears throat> I went to the local Dodge dealer today looking for a pickup and uh, you know they quoted me a price which was nothing I wanted to do and the trade allowance was way below what I expected and uh, <clears throat> so and they didn't offer any guidance as to you know more discounts available or you know maybe a military discount or blah 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 because there's all kind of discounts available out there if somebody hunts for them, and they didn't. So anyway, I left there, and I came home, and I thought, well, am I going to give up on the whole deal or not? And the answer is not. I decided that I would call a... I've done business with these people before. It's covert. They've got every kind of car dealership you can imagine. They also have Dodge, which is uh, what I was looking for, a Dodge pickup. But I didn't want to spend a fortune for it because I don't have a fortune to spend. So anyway, I contact this guy at Covert in Austin, the internet sales manager or something to do with the internet, named Sam. Remember Dr. Seuss? Oh, Sam I am. Anyway, enough said about that. But his name was Sam. So if you're in the Austin area and you want to do business with Covert, call Sam. Okay? Sam knows everything. Well, he knows a lot. And he's very helpful. And he'll help you make the best deal, in my opinion. So anyway, uh, we talked on the phone. And you know, we, he, uh, we, we found a unit in their, on their lot, which was not... Well, we found, it looked like it was the right unit. But it turns out later, I wanted a short bed, a six-foot bed. And this one had an eight-foot bed. And I'm not going to be towing anything anyway. Or if I do tow something, it'll be very light. And so you don't need the long bed. And besides that, it makes it hard to turn because the turning radius on a long bed pickup can take up seven blocks, okay? 
but on a short bed, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So anyway, uh, you know, we looked at the numbers, and he, he brought up two uh, $2,500 worth of discounts that nobody ever mentioned here locally. Nobody. Okay, and I won't tell you what they were, but they're available for me. And uh, so that saved me $2,500 and, and maybe more. There's some other stuff that he's looking for, and if he can find it, we'll apply, apply it to the deal. And anyway, they didn't have a car or vehicle on their lot or pickup <clears throat> that that would fit my needs, but but they did find one. And they're going to have it for me next week. And I'll go look at it. And if it is what it's everything I want, then I will buy the vehicle. And that's the end of that. The point of the video is to point out that I know that there are a number of you that have been into car dealerships and had unusual or difficult experiences, so to speak. Uh, in other words, it's not easy to deal with the salesman because they start the game where the salesman goes to the sales manager and then comes back to you and then goes back to the sales manager and then finally the sales manager comes out and sits down with you and then maybe the F and I guy, the finance and insurance guy comes out and you know does some more crap you know and it's all moving numbers and when they start that shell game of moving numbers around and crap you get confused okay so write down your numbers before you go in Okay, on a sheet of paper and have them in your little hand. Because they'll do a shell game on you. And when you come out of there, you will have bought a car for about $5,000 more than it should have been. Or more. In your trade, they will have stole it right out from under your feet. And you never felt the pain. So having said that, uh, just wanted to put you on notice that I am moving in the direction of getting a pickup. Why? Well, you know, number one, I just want one. Do I need one? No. How about that? Uh, is my Prius a good car? Great, one of the greatest vehicles I've ever owned. Why am I getting rid of it then? Uh, actually, one of the minor reasons is it's it's a little low to the ground for me now. Uh, when I get out, I have to I have to do the the old folks groan like mm, you know, and and that ta you know it takes a little practice to get that groan down just right. But if you start when you're age 60, by the time you're age 71, you'll have it down perfect. You know, every time you get up, you'll groan. George Burns does a little skit on that. You may not know who George Burns is. And Gracie Allen, great comedian. Anyway, so that was one minor reason. Another one is my car has 61,000 miles on it. Not bad. And I know it could probably get 250,000 miles out of it and enjoy 50 miles per gallon forever. However, I don't drive as much anymore. And 50 miles per gallon doesn't really mean much, okay? So with a car, with a vehicle that gets around 20 or plus, I think I should get a little better than 20, even though it's rated at 25 on the highway. And I don't know, what is it? 25 and 18. So, you know, I feel like I should get a comfortable over 20, and if I can do that uh, at 1,000 miles a month at $2 a gallon, uh, it'll cost me 10 cents a mile, so that's 100 bucks a month. That'll increase my expense about $50, and I'm, I'm willing to do that, and I just want to pick up. Do I need to haul anything? No. Just wanted to pick up, and I like the way it drives. I, I like the visibility of the vehicle. It's uh, better than the Prius, and uh, so anyway, just, and I'm getting older, you know, so my window of opportunity to do things and do things that I want to do is closing, like coming down, so if there's anything you want to do, better do it, I've often said that, and also there was a, in the Shawshank Redemption, the movie, if you remember the part where the guy says, get busy living or get busy dying. I'm getting busy living. <laughs> Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Dien? Dien. It, dien is the Lithuanian word for diem. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Which reminds me, on the uh, on the paperwork they say, I got over the internet, it says uh, content. 29% from Mexico, 56% from U.S. Canadian, 
uh, the engine was made in the United States and the transmission was made in the United States and this is a Dodge Ram 2017. So, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, bye USA made, drink plenty of water, take deep breaths, relieve stress, stretch, walk, enjoy your life, and next week, probably be Tuesday or, probably Tuesday or Wednesday before I get the vehicle because they've got to go out of town. They got Somebody has to go and trade the vehicle to get the one I want. And so I'll have a maybe a new Dodge Ram pickup and I'll do a video of it and show you what it looks like. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.